I know I've been all over the place lately, but I've been wanting to weigh the extremes of both sides out to feel right about who I might eventually vote for. I still don't know who I'm voting for. My five biggest worries about Trump. One, he'll choose terrible people to be in his cabinet like he did last time. He himself might be pro-freedom and anti-war, but he's likely to do what he did last time and put in some sort of a war hawk into positions they shouldn't have. Like Bolton, whom he fired later. He's likely to put in more anti-marijuana people. He's likely to put in people who want to implement Christian theocracy. In the ways they can, anyway. Yeah, I have little to no trust in his ability to choose good people. I mean, perhaps he learned some things from his last presidency, but I doubt it changed his inability to judge good people for the job. Two, that once the ball starts rolling on putting light restrictions on the LGBT community and some of the activism where it doesn't belong, that once the ball is rolling, that it won't stop and will go well beyond what Project 2025 dictates and will become a highly oppressive force against LGBT people rooted in religious beliefs. I see nothing to stop that kind of force once it starts, once the ball is rolling, and that scares me. Three, that his attempts at cutting back bureaucracy, red tape, and unnecessary regulations could go way too far. And we end up with a ton of problems as a result. Problems that we thought we were over because we put regulations in place, right? Issues like child labor and worker safety. Standards and regulations that keep us safe. Even though he claims to care about clean air and clean water, I worry that he would cut some regulations that could negatively affect those things. Four, that he'll go overboard on deportations, where people who have been here for many decades, who have fully assimilated into our culture and our society, and might have no connection to their original country at all anymore, you know, for whatever reason, are forced to go to a country where they may not even speak the same language. Five, that he'll potentially cut into Social Security, Medicare, and other safety nets even though he's claimed to some crowds that he won't cut into those things, he's said to other crowds that, well, you know, maybe he'll be forced to cut that, but that's just the way it goes, ha 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 ha. He tells different crowds different things, which is pretty concerning. So yes, there are definitely a number of things that I don't like about a possibility of another Trump presidency. These aren't just trivial things. This isn't just, oh, orange man, bad. These are specific things that I have concerns over. Perhaps you think I'm being unreasonable, but that's too bad. Have a joy-joy day!